the automotive industry has been rocked by an unexpected challenger emerging from Africa. A $5,000 electric vehicle from Kenya has outsold Tesla in key emerging markets last quarter. This revolutionary car offers 250 miles of range at a price point that seemed impossible just years ago. Mobius Motors, the company behind this disruption, has proven that affordability and practicality can coexist in the EV market. While legacy automakers chase luxury features and performance specs, Mobius focused on solving rail transportation needs. The company's founder, Joel Jackson, realized early that Western EV approaches were fundamentally flawed. Traditional manufacturers added unnecessary technology that drove costs up without improving core functionality. Mobius engineers started with a blank slate, asking how to build the most affordable electric vehicle possible. Their solution was the E1, a minimalist EV with just 370 components compared to Tesla's 10, 000 plus parts. By eliminating non-essential features, Mobius achieved a drive-away price of $5,000 while maintaining quality. The E1's 40 kilowatt hour battery provides 250 miles of real-world range, challenging premium EVs at a fraction of the cost. Performance metrics shock industry experts, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds and a top speed of 85 miles per hour. Charging requires no special infrastructure, plugging into standard outlets for a full recharge in four hours. Mobius's breakthrough extends beyond the vehicle to revolutionary manufacturing techniques. Instead of massive factories, the company operates 27 micro facilities across Kenya. Each facility employs 30 to 50 workers and can be established for just three to five million dollars. This distributed model reduces capital expenditure per vehicle to $1,200 versus Tesla's $9,800. Labor costs per vehicle are just $420 compared to $2,400 for traditional automakers. The approach proves high automation doesn't require eliminating human workers entirely. Mobius's manufacturing philosophy challenges a century of industrial dogma about scale and centralization. Western automakers are scrambling to understand how Mobius achieved these cost structures. GM sent teams to study their operations while Toyota reportedly offered $2 billion for their manufacturing tech. The company's success stems from designing for Africa's harsh conditions from the beginning. Durable composite body panels resist dents and require minimal maintenance. Washable rubber flooring and fabric seats withstand heavy daily use in tropical climates. The minimalist dashboard focuses on essential functions without distracting touchscreens. Every design decision prioritized reliability and affordability over luxury or prestige. Mobius's battery technology represents perhaps their most significant breakthrough. While the industry fights over limited lithium supplies, Mobius developed an iron air matrix alternative. Their battery uses abundant materials like iron, aluminum, and carbon instead of rare earth elements. Though less energy-dense than lithium-ion, it costs 90% less to produce at under $60 per kilowatt-hour. MIT tests showed just 8% capacity loss after 200,000 simulated miles, outperforming many lithium batteries. The environmental benefits are substantial, requiring virtually no water in production. No toxic byproducts are created during manufacturing or at end-of-life disposal. Mobius has already produced over 200,000 battery packs in Nairobi with plans to license the technology. Their batteries could revolutionize renewable energy storage by solving intermittency challenges affordably. Real-world performance data from African owners confirms the E1's reliability. Nairobi delivery drivers report saving $140 weekly compared to gasoline vehicles. Teachers in Mombasa charge twice weekly for daily commutes without range anxiety. Rwandan drivers in mountainous regions benefit from exceptional regenerative braking efficiency. The 18-month reliability data shows failure rates below industry averages despite the low price. Service is simplified through partnerships with auto parts retailers and mobile repair units. Most issues are resolved via over-the-air updates thanks to the vehicle's smart but simple design. Annual maintenance costs just $80 to $120. No oil changes, spark plugs, or complex systems to service. The limitations, 85 miles per hour top speed, basic interior are intentional trade-offs for affordability. 
Mobius understands most urban commuters don't need racing performance or luxury finishes. Their target market prioritizes reliable, affordable transportation over status symbols. This focus on essential needs explains their rapid market capture in emerging economies. In just 18 months, Mobius sold 217,000 vehicles across Africa and Asia. They captured 34% of the EV market in developing nations while achieving profitability in nine months. Gross margins reached 42%, double Tesla's 21%, proving affordability can be profitable. In India, Mobius outsold Tata Motors EVs 3 to 1 within a year of launch. Indonesian, market share hit 41% as consumers embraced the unbeatable value proposition. The company recently raised $850 million at a $12.4 billion valuation from sovereign wealth funds. Investors recognize Mobius isn't just another automaker but a mobility access revolution. Their expansion plans target America next year with a disruptive go-to-market strategy. Instead of dealerships, Mobius will partner with retail chains for 200 experience centers. Direct-to-consumer delivery eliminates $2,400 per vehicle in traditional distribution costs. The U.S. lineup includes three models priced from $5,000 to $8,400. Pre-orders already hit $37,000 without marketing, signaling strong demand. Mobius plans to deliver 100,000 vehicles in their first 12 months stateside. Legacy automakers are responding with regulatory challenges and lobbying efforts. Ford filed complaints while GM pushes for stricter safety requirements that could block Mobius. Tesla is reportedly developing a sub-$20,000 model to compete but may struggle to match pricing. Industry resistance reflects the existential threat Mobius poses to traditional business models. Western manufacturers built cost structures that can't compete with Mobius's efficiency. The cultural implications extend beyond automotive to technological leadership. Mobius proves innovation can flow from emerging markets to developed ones. Their success challenges Silicon Valley's dominance in high-tech solutions. The environmental impact could be profound by accelerating ICE phase-outs globally. Affordable EVs enable mass adoption rather than just luxury market conversion. Distributed manufacturing reduces carbon footprints from shipping and centralized production. Mobius's model offers lessons for other industries beyond automotive. The same principles could revolutionize consumer electronics, appliances, and more. Their battery technology may transform renewable energy storage economics. Looking ahead, Mobius's biggest challenge will be scaling without losing core advantages. The temptation to add features and raise prices has doomed many disruptors. If they maintain discipline, Mobius could become the first true 21st century global car company. Their long-term vision might expand into buses, trucks, and energy storage systems. This would create an integrated sustainable mobility ecosystem beyond passenger vehicles. For consumers, Mobius heralds a new era of accessible, practical electric transportation. For investors, it represents both disruption risk and transformational opportunity. Policymakers must recognize innovation often emerges from necessity at the margins. The Mobius story proves the future isn't built solely in traditional tech hubs. True breakthroughs come where ingenuity meets real-world needs, currently in Nairobi. The $5,000 EV isn't just a car but a manifesto for inclusive, sustainable technology. This may be the most disruptive innovation yet in the transition to electric mobility. The Mobius E1 success represents more than just a business achievement. It signals a fundamental shift in how transportation solutions are conceived and delivered globally. While traditional automakers focused on incremental improvements to existing models, Mobius reimagined the automobile from first principles. Their approach demonstrates that constraints, whether financial, material, or infrastructural, can spark unprecedented innovation when viewed as opportunities rather than limitations. The company's iron air battery technology alone could disrupt multiple industries beyond automotive, including renewable energy storage and grid stabilization. Unlike lithium-ion batteries that degrade significantly in hot climates, Mobius's chemistry thrives in high-temperature environments common across Africa and the global south. 
This thermal resilience comes from the battery's self-regulating design that prevents overheating without complex cooling systems. Field tests in Kenya's Rift Valley, where temperatures regularly exceed 95 degrees Fahrenheit, showed less than 5% range reduction with continuous air conditioning use. The batteries maintain 85% capacity after 300,000 miles, outperforming most lithium packs that typically reach end of life at 150,000 miles. Mobius achieves this durability through a patented electrolyte formulation that automatically repairs microscopic damage during charging cycles. Their manufacturing process consumes just 7% of the energy required for lithium-ion battery production, slashing embedded carbon emissions. Raw materials are sourced entirely within Africa, creating localized supply chains immune to global trade disruptions. The battery's modular design allows easy replacement of individual cells rather than entire packs, reducing long-term ownership costs. Mobius has begun licensing this technology to solar farm operators across Africa for large-scale energy storage applications. Early adopters report the batteries cut renewable energy storage costs by 78% compared to lithium alternatives. This breakthrough could finally make 24-7 renewable power economically viable for developing nations. The company's distributed microfactory model is equally revolutionary in its economic and social impacts. Each facility creates 50 to 70 skilled jobs in communities traditionally excluded from high-tech manufacturing. Workers receive training in advanced manufacturing techniques transferable to other industries. Local content requirements ensure 92% of components are sourced within 100 miles of assembly plants. This hyperlocal approach stimulates regional economies while minimizing logistics emissions. Mobius's factories operate on hybrid solar diesel systems, achieving 65% renewable energy use. The facilities are designed for easy conversion to full electrification as grid infrastructure improves. Production lines can be reconfigured in 48 hours to manufacture different vehicle types as demand shifts. This flexibility allows rapid response to market needs, a stark contrast to traditional automakers' rigid assembly lines. Quality control is maintained through AI-assisted visual inspection systems that learn from each defect detected. The system has achieved 99.98% defect detection accuracy, surpassing human quality inspectors. Mobius shares these quality algorithms with suppliers, elevating standards across their entire supply chain. The company's innovative ownership model further enhances accessibility for low-income buyers. Customers can purchase vehicles through progressive ownership plans requiring no credit history. Payments are made via mobile money in daily, weekly, or monthly installments as small as $3. An embedded telematics system enables usage-based insurance at 30% below traditional rates. Battery leasing options reduce upfront costs while guaranteeing performance for 500,000 miles. This innovative financing has enabled adoption by farmers, market traders, and other informal sector workers. Over 38% of Mobius owners previously relied on motorcycles or animal-drawn carts for transport. The economic impact is measurable. Owners report average income increases of 45% due to expanded mobility. Mobius has partnered with ride-sharing platforms to create new income opportunities for vehicle owners. The E1's low operating costs enable drivers to keep 78% of fares compared to 55% with gasoline vehicles. Women, who face greater mobility constraints in many markets, comprise 42% of Mobius owners. The company offers targeted training programs to increase female participation in the EV ecosystem. This includes scholarships for women in engineering and dealership ownership opportunities. Mobius's success has sparked a wave of African tech startups addressing mobility challenges. Over 60 companies have emerged offering EV charging solutions, service apps, and accessory products. The company actively mentors these startups through its Mobius Innovation Accelerator program. This ecosystem approach ensures the entire value chain develops in tandem with vehicle production. Traditional automakers are now forced to reconsider their emerging market strategies. Toyota recently announced plans to develop a $7,000 EV specifically for African markets. Volkswagen is converting its South African plant to produce budget EVs based on Mobius principles. Even Chinese automakers, long dominant in African markets, are scrambling to match Mobius's value proposition. 
the competitive response validates Mobius's thesis that affordability trumps brand loyalty in growth markets. Industry analysts predict Mobius's manufacturing model will influence production strategies worldwide. Ford has begun testing microfactories for commercial vehicle production in Southeast Asia. Tesla is reportedly studying distributed manufacturing for its long-promised $25,000 model. The shift could reshape global trade patterns by making localized production economically viable. Mobius's impact extends to urban planning as cities adapt to accommodate affordable EVs. Nairobi is installing 5,000 curbside charging points optimized for Mobius vehicles. The compact dimensions, 12 feet long, allow three E1S to park in spaces designed for two sedans. Cities report reduced congestion as motorcycle users switch to the safer, more capable E1. Accident rates have dropped 18% in areas with high Mobius adoption according to Kenyan traffic data. The vehicle's standardized battery packs are being repurposed for secondary uses after automotive life. Solar microgrids across East Africa now utilize retired Mobius batteries for energy storage. This circular economy approach extends battery usefulness by 8 to 10 years beyond vehicle service. Mobius recently partnered with the African Union to establish EV manufacturing standards. The regulations prioritize safety while avoiding costly requirements that inflate vehicle prices. This framework is being adopted by 18 nations as the basis for their EV policies. The company's influence now extends to education through the Mobius Technical Institute. The school trains 5,000 technicians annually in EV maintenance and renewable energy systems. Graduates receive internationally recognized certifications accepted in 14 African countries. Mobius shares all vehicle schematics and repair manuals online to encourage third-party service networks. This openness contrasts sharply with traditional automakers' proprietary approaches. The strategy has created 23,000 independent repair jobs across Mobius's operating markets. Looking ahead, Mobius plans to leverage its platform for autonomous vehicle development. The simplified design and standardized components make the E1 ideal for autonomous retrofits. Early prototypes of self-driving E1S are being tested in controlled industrial environments. The company believes autonomy will follow affordability as the next mobility revolution in Africa. Mobius's story proves that sustainable transportation solutions must be economically sustainable first. By aligning environmental goals with financial realities, they've achieved what eluded legacy automakers. The company's valuation has grown faster than Tesla's did in its first decade of production. Industry analysts predict Mobius could become Africa's first $100 billion automotive company. More importantly, it has demonstrated that the global South can lead rather than follow in technological innovation. The Mobius model offers a blueprint for solving other pressing challenges through constraint-driven innovation. As climate change accelerates, such approaches will become increasingly vital across industries. The company's next challenge, successfully entering Western markets, could reshape global automotive hierarchies. Early interest suggests Mobius may do to traditional automakers what smartphones did to landlines. Regardless of scale achieved, Mobius has already rewritten the rules of automotive innovation. Their legacy will be proving that world-changing solutions often emerge from overlooked places. In doing so, they've restored something increasingly rare in technology, the power of simplicity.